How has the education systems in your country changed over the last twenty years? Um. Well, so frankly speaking, in the last twenty years, we have faced, um, we are facing, you could say, a lot of change on the economy and also the technology, right? So, um, the systems we are having now would be much more practical and close to the needs of the society. Than the system which we had in the past.、Um, looking for the、uh, looking at the technology sites that a lot of classroom and also the teaching methods are involved with the high technology like the、uh, digital devices and also required students to interact with the teachers on internet instead of the paper form of、uh, the examination. Wow! So I guess now the Modern education system are much more advanced、uh, and also useful than the past one. How do you think the education system will change in the near future?、Um, well, frankly speaking,、um, the education system is the、um, it's a methods I guess would be a quite like a complicated or organized systems、um, to. Which in in order to improve the learning ability and also find out what would be the most effective way to deliver the、uh, message or informations of the、uh, knowledge background to students, then I guess in the future this would be much more advanced on the technology side, like the.、Um, Method of having class would completely change.、Um, relies on the new invention like VR, holograms. Those would allow students to have the class at home instead of going such a far far distance back to the school. Right in this way, I guess、um, it would provide them. More times to enjoy their life, or to explore many different elements in their life instead of stick their nose on their、uh, homework assignment like students do now. What changes would you introduce into the education system? Um. Well, so generally speaking, the education system that we have in right we have right now will be kind of、uh, edu. Education, or, or、uh, you could say the、um, examination orientated.、Mm, it's largely required students to recite or to memorize tons of knowledge in order to pass the exam. The exam designed by the、uh, maybe the National Testing Bureau.、Uh, so most of those knowledge, I would say, it's useful in school only. However, it's not that quite of、uh, suitable for students after they get into the society. Most of them just redundant, right? Then I guess one of the reforms I would urgent would be urge to introduce back in the systems would be the connections between the、um, real practice and the knowledge itself, right? Not To learn all those basic science or the basic、um, literature knowledge or principles, but they should actually combine. Trying to find a flexible way to combine on which way it would be used in the future for students, so it would be、um, easier or more useful when it comes to the、uh, reality. So, do you think that education should be free? Um, well, in my opinion, the educations would be um. It's the personal choice which relies on the uh determination or the personal goals in their own life. Well, some of the individual, I mean, they have a higher pursuit on the academic or the uh educational purpose. Well, so it should be. Their well, themselves to pay for、um, all those tuitions, right? Then 
based on these assumptions or ideas, I don't believe this education、uh, system should provide free training to students, or unless they are benefits for the government or the company, which is the、uh, party going to get the benefits. What do you think are the qualities of a good teacher? Um, well, so basically, school is the place which for students to、um, obtain the knowledge, even to、uh, just to to make the further educations in order to pursue the knowledge for the future use, right? Then one of the、um, quality, I guess, for school would be that、um, variety of practical knowledge for students preparing for the future use, right? Uh, besides the、um, teaching methods, also maybe the faculty qualities would be quite of important to determine whether students could concentrate even to、uh, efficiently master all those informations. Well, I guess those are the quite of important aspects for a good school. Do you think that government needs to focus more on educating adults?、Um, well, from My understanding, governments actually they are the powerful authorities which have the power to collect to collect tax from taxpayer.、Uh, then it is, will be their possible、um, responsibility to improve the living standards of their citizens by education、uh, educating adults. And help them to gain more capability to improve their working performance would also lead to the promotion in their job or even the salary increased, which is quite of、um, a beneficial for both sides of the、uh, two parties, right?、Um, governments could get more tax, and also、uh, the individuals they could get a higher living quality, and also governments they are the Organizations which could collect,、uh, could make laws, right, to make the society much more stable, and for most of the citizens who received higher educations, they would support the governments or the society much more than those lower educated one,、um, which also the needs for governments to、um, just remain the regime. Or they controlled on the country. Well, so it's the win-win situations, I guess.、Um, most of all, adults they are the mainstream, the mainstream working force, or the、um, you could say the main guardians on in the in the family, right? So by educating them, it would much more.、Um, It would be much more dramatically ensure the health development of the whole society.、Um, well, so I deeply agree that government should、um, spend more money on on be on more resource or、right? spend more resource on adult education. Do you think there will be no teachers to teach students in the future? Well, about the future, I'm not really sure. This is、um, a very tricky question. Well, what I want to say is that I have read quite a few books、um, f- during the past couple of months about AI, artificial intelligence, that mainly focus on what the future is going to be like. And some of the books say that perhaps in thirty or forty years, a big proportion of all of、uh, of teachers will be replaced by robots. Especially teachers that、um, probably teach English or teach languages, not Chinese, not your mother language, because your、um, a person's mother tongue is not only the language itself, but also culture and、um, you, you know very、uh, subtle stuff that can't be taught by robots, at least in the short term. However, when 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 students are learning a foreign language, a second language, for example. Then I suppose probably robots will be able to replace teachers in this field because they will be smart smart enough to teach vocabulary and grammar and practice with the students. So 
Um, however, some other books say otherwise. They say that perhaps these teachers won't be able to tell、uh, which student is having difficulty with some certain concept or something. I, I'm really sorry. I can't be sure, and I guess we'll just have to wait and see. What's the difference between young and older teachers? Well, for me, there are quite a few differences between old and young teachers. Firstly, young teachers are more likely to use modern technology in the classroom, such as video clips to downloaded from the internet, PowerPoint slides, etc. While older teachers tend to use traditional way of teaching, like whiteboard recordings and so on. Secondly, it is easier for young teachers to build a closer relationship with their students because they share some similar interests like sports, movies, computer games, and fashions, and so on. But older teachers may have a generation gap with the students. What school subject do you think will be the most useful in adult life? I think literature, because literature can make people full of wisdom and better communi- communicate with others. At the same time, by learning how to use the language well, you can write various kinds of articles. Make better speeches, and ultimately influences others. What subjects do you think might be needed in the future, which which has not yet appeared? Computer applications. Now it's the network society. I think the ability to master the computer is very important. We use computers to write practical writing, draw pictures, and even edit and program. These are essential life skills, but they are not taught in our courses. What do you think is the best age? For children to start school, why? I think it's six. Children、uh, directly directly go to primary school at the age of six. Children aged three to five have strong learning ability at this age. Parents should let their children master as many languages as possible. I defy art. Let them enjoy good preschool education and form basic personality. What can kids learn when they're playing with other kids of the same age? Um, <laughs> well, yeah, that that's a very interesting question. I、um, personally, I have never thought about it before, but maybe I should because I'm definitely gonna have a kid、uh, sooner or later. I'm pretty young now, but. Some of my coworkers have already had their babies, and but the thing is, in China, we we used to have the one-child policy for so many years. So a lot of families only have one kid, and、um, it doesn't really happen very often when their kid plays with other kids of the same age. So I'm sorry, I've been talking just you know. It's been a lot of nonsense. I'm so sorry. So basically, when kids play together with other kids of the same age, I, I don't know. I don't suppose they really learn a lot of things. They just train their ability to kind of quote unquote socialize. I mean, I say quote unquote mainly because kids don't really know what socializing is. Um, adults socialize. We try to、um, network with other people to get benefit for the sake of our own careers and 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 and, and, and jobs and stuff like that. But kids don't know that. However, through、um, interacting with other children, they learn how to talk, how to be together, and I believe this is quite crucial in the development of any kid. How should schools teach students to live healthily? Um, <laughs> that's an interesting question. Um, honestly, I've never thought about it before, and it's really hard to think of an answer. Well, I remember when I was in primary school, we had a class called health. 
Honestly, I'm not very sure whether this kind of class exists in every other primary school in China, and I don't know about other countries, but it definitely sounds like a good idea. I mean, if every school, primary school or middle school, has a class called health, and teachers try to instill the importance of doing physical exercise and eating a healthy diet. Every single day into students, then those students, it's more likely for them to try to live a healthy lifestyle, right? If they believe that it's essential to、um, adopt this kind of lifestyle, it's more likely for them to go out and about, and play basketball and soccer or badminton. They will go jogging every day. They will try to eat a healthy, balanced diet.、Um, you know, teachers can tell students, "Hey, don't eat too much red meat. It's harmful to your health." Then I suppose those students will probably listen to their teachers and tell their parents to cook healthier food. So honestly, I really can't think of anything else. But having a class called health definitely sounds pretty good to me. Who do you think plays a more important role in a child's development, teachers or parents? Um, honestly, that's a very difficult question. It's definitely something that. A lot of people talk about today, and frankly speaking, I I really want to say that teachers and parents play an equally important role in the development of a child.、Um, well, hang on, I'm sorry.、Um, now that I think about it, actually, a child spends a big part of their day at school, right? At least in China, children go to school and stay there for six or even seven hours, which is A long time. Then they go home and spend several hours with their parents. So, no, wait, hang on. I'm so sorry. Got no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Actually, they go to school and spend their time with several teachers because they have many subjects. So, God, I'm so sorry. I'm making it very complicated for myself. So, I'm I'm sticking to what I said at the very beginning. Teachers and parents are equally important. Do people need to constantly learn new things? Yeah, without a doubt, I believe it's vitally important for everybody to always learn new things to acquire new knowledge. Because our world, I mean, our society has been developing extremely fast. I mean, just super rapidly, especially over the last one hundred or two hundred years. Right? Things change all the time. For instance, now we are in the internet age, right? We have computers, we have smartphones, we have so many new things that are popping up every single day. Like we have、um, AI, artificial intelligence,、uh, VR, virtual reality. If we don't try to learn these things, if we don't try to catch up with what the society is、um, just becoming, I just believe we will gradually lag behind, and we will just be、um, let's let's admit it, we will be losers if we don't learn new things every day. Okay, so let's listen to some responses on the topic of education in part three. How has the education systems in your country changed over the last twenty years? Again, here we see a question that has a specific time reference. You don't see questions like that in part three. They will just say, "How has the education system in your country changed over the past few years, or just changed?" But the specific reference is. Not something you usually find. Years.、Um, well, so frankly speaking, in the last twenty years, we have faced,、um, we are facing, you could say, a lot of change on the economy. Okay, lots of words here that are problematic. <laughs> you could said lots of changed on the economy. So. Uh, 
let's go back a little bit more. Okay, so over the last 20 years, we have faced, the first time he said this, he was correct, we have faced, you could say, lots of changes in the economy. In the economy. You said a lot of change on the economy and also the technology, right? So um, the systems we are having now. Again, here, why is he using the present continuous tense? The systems we have now would be much more practical and close to the needs of the society than the system which we had in the past. Okay, so if you go back to the question, the question is, how has it changed? So, he says here, there have been a lot of changes. And so maybe here, when he talks about the system being much more practical and close to the needs of the society, why not say the biggest change is that now the systems are more practical and closer to the needs of the society. If you mention the biggest change, then say that it's the biggest change. The needs of the society than the system which we had in the past. Um, looking for the uh, looking at the technology sites that okay now he's moving to a different point so why not say now looking at the I don't know what to say about technology side <laughs> but okay but put in a word here that shows us that you're looking at a different aspect so like now moving on to the technological side maybe technological is better now moving on to the technological side a lot of classroom and also the teaching method it should be plural a lot of classrooms involved with the high technology wait wait classroom and also the teaching methods that are involved that are involved in high technology but usually for high technology we just say high tech not high technology so also the teaching methods that are involved in high tech with or why not say high tech teaching methods the high technology like the uh, digital devices and also require students to interact with the teachers on internet instead of the paper he, I think he's trying to combine too many ideas into one here so uh, digital devices okay so what kind of digital devices are you talking about because here he throws in this also it's too complicated for his level of English <clears throat> he should just talk about the digital devices uh, this idea of requiring students to interact with the teachers on the internet it should be on the internet instead of on paper this should be face to face. You don't interact with your paper with your teacher on paper. You interact with your teacher face to face if you're in the classroom. On internet instead of the paper formed of uh, the examination. Okay, so I guess he's just talking about tests now. But then all of this could just be summarized by saying tests can be done online <laughs> instead of paper-based test paper-based tests instead of the paper formed of uh, the examination wow so I guess now the modern education system are much more advanced uh, and also useful than the past one okay he seems to be having a little bit of trouble keeping his subjects and his verbs in agreement because he had a singular subject here he said R so lots of grammatical errors uh, and also useful than the past one the past one how do you think the education system will change in the near future um, well frankly speaking now he's using frankly speaking for just about everything it seems <laughs> be careful not to overuse your discourse markers um, the education system is the um, it's a methods I guess would be a quite like a complicated or organized systems um, to which Oof. okay all of this 
I don't know quite what to call this. Is it self-correction? But it's, it's kind of difficult to know what he's saying here because there's so much self-correction going on. In, in order to improve the learning ability and also find out what would be the most effective way to deliver the uh, message or information of the uh, knowledge background to students. Okay, information is not a countable noun. There's no such thing as knowledge background. It's just maybe background knowledge. <laughs> That's what he wants to say. There is such a thing as background knowledge, but not knowledge background. Then I guess in the future this would be much more advanced on the technology side, like it's side, side, not sight, side. The um, methods of having class would completely change. The methods of having class. Yeah, you could say methods, although usually we would say the way. Uh, the way students have class might completely change. Now, I don't know why it says would, because we're not sure about that. Why not go with might? Um, relies on now hang on a second, there's no subject here, it just starts with relies. <laughs> it starts with a verb. On the new invention, like VR, holograms. Alright, here's some good vocabulary. VR, holograms. Okay, so here's some good vocabulary, virtual reality, holograms. Those would allow students to have the class at home. But then here he uses a modal and then he uses the past form of the verb. Those would allow. Those would allow. And also, since we're talking about the future, would is a bit of a strong word. Why not say those might? Instead of going such a far, far distance back to the school. Right? In this way, I guess um, it would provide them more times to. El here, time should not be countable. Uh, it'll provide them more time. Enjoy their life. Uh, let's see here. Or to explore. So here, this infinitive, to explored. It should be to explore, right? And then here, instead of, this should also be a noun. Because here, you're using a noun. This has to be a noun also. So it's got to be sticking. And I see here <laughs> the preposition in, but I don't think that's the right word. Or to explore many different elements in their life instead of stick their nose on their uh, homework assignment like yeah this part about the homework assignment uh, if you spend a lot of time reading books or you spend a lot of time doing like he said homework assignments then we say sticking their noses <laughs> and this should also be plural in their homework assignments in their homework assignments all right let's go on what changes would you introduce into the education system? I don't know why this is in the past tense. Um, well, so generally speaking, the education system that we have in right we have right now will be kind of uh, educational or, or. But just take a moment and think about what he's saying. He's saying that the education system is educational. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's the purpose of it, isn't it? Uh, you could say the uh, examination orientated. Ah, but that's different. Okay, so if you want to say our education system is exam orientated, that's fine. But saying the exam, saying the educational system is educational, that doesn't mean anything, does it? Mm, it's largely required students to recite it largely requires present tense and there's no be verb here or to memorize tons of knowledge in order to pass the exam the exam designed by why did he say exam the exam was correct and then he going for exam the uh, maybe the national testing bureau uh, so most of those knowledge I would say it's you now knowledge is not countable so most of those no most of that knowledge knowledge is not a countable noun those knowledge I would say it's useful in school only however it's not that quite of uh, suitable 
and here whenever he has an adjective that he's using he tends to say quite of it's not that suitable just say that it's not that suitable for for students after they get into the society most of them just redundant right them referring to information remember information is not countable so this pronoun doesn't work then I guess one of the reforms I would I'm gonna use the past tense again I guessed but urgent would be urge to introduce back in the systems would be the connections between the um, real practice and the knowledge itself right so he's saying he would make the education system more practical not to learn all those basic science or the basic um, literature knowledge or principles literature knowledge there's no such thing as literature knowledge but they should actually combine they're trying to find a flexible way to combine on which way combine doesn't go with on the <laughs> What is, what is he saying here? No, it's back. They should actually combine. They should actually combine. They should actually try to find a flexible way to combine. I don't know, combine what? After combine, you should say what is going to be combined. Uh, is he talking about? Oh, he's talking about practice and knowledge. Maybe repeat that because I forgot what that's what he's talking about. Okay, so they should find a flexible way to combine practice and knowledge in a way in a way it could be used um, easier or more useful when it, um, easier or more useful when it comes to the uh, reality. Okay, so it will have more value for students once they leave school, I think. So do you think that education should be free? Um, well, in my opinion, the education would be... Education is not countable. And there should be no the there. We're talking about education in general. So while in my opinion, education should be free... Oh, wait, that's not what he's saying. He didn't finish his thought. Would be, and then it goes on with another idea. Um, it's the personal choice, which is it though? I mean, do students choose whether to go to elementary school, junior high? Relies on the uh, determination of the personal goals in their own life. All students. Remember in part three, the examiner might challenge you on what you say, and to me, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, some of the individual, I mean, they have a higher pursuit on the academical. Okay, they have a higher academical pursuit. They have a higher academical pursuit. Or the uh, educational purpose. But this is the same thing, so you no need to say it twice. Well, so it should be their well, themselves to pay for um, all those tuitions right so, okay well tuition is not countable so they pay their own tuition <laughs> they pay their own tuition then based on these assumptions or ideas but if this is plural then why is this singular <laughs> So based on this assumption or idea, I don't believe why this will. education uh, system should provide free training to students, or unless I don't know what he's saying. <clears throat> what is he saying? He's saying, where is the part about the tuition? Okay, so students pay for their own tuition. So I believe. Wait, where are we now? So I believe education should be free. Students pay for their own tuition, so I believe education should be free. To me, that doesn't make sense. This education 
uh, system should provide free training to students, or unless they are benefits for the government, or the unless they are benefits for the government, unless they. Why not use benefit as a verb here? So unless they benefit the government or the company, unless they are benefits for the government or the company, which is the uh, party going to get the benefits? It's a little bit difficult for me to follow. Okay, so <laughs> the education system should provide free training to the students unless the what's the day here? Unless the students benefit the government or the company? Unless I, I don't know. I, I, it's, I find it difficult to follow his line of thinking. He didn't make it very clear to me. So unless you work for the government or the company, but most people work for either the government or companies, don't they? I don't know. Let's continue. What do you think are the qualities of a good teacher? Um, well, so basically, school is the place which for students to um, obtain the knowledge, even to uh, just to, to make the further education. Again, education is not countable, and you don't make further education. You study further, so it's a place where students study further in order to pursue the knowledge for the future. And here, knowledge is not a countable noun. Well, never mind that it's not a countable noun. It's not a specific noun. So there's no the. To pursue knowledge for future use, no the and no the. Use, right. Then one of the um, quality, I guess, if you say one of the, then this noun has to be in the plural. So one of the qualities for school would be. But the question is not about schools. The question is about teachers. So one of the qualities teachers should have, not schools. The quality, I guess, for school would be that um, variety of practical knowledge for students. Well, that's not what the question asks. The question is asking about teachers. Parent for the future use, right? Uh, it's future use. This is a noun, not a verb. Future use. Besides the um, teaching methods, also maybe the faculty qualities would be quite. I don't really know what this means. The faculty qualities. Does he mean the quality of the faculty? Because here, qualities is a noun. Qualities would be quite of important to de again with the adjective he says quite of would be quite important determine whether students could concentrate even to uh, efficiently master all those informations again information is not uh, it's not countable and information is not something that you can master information is something you can take in. So whether the students can efficiently take in all that information? Well, I guess those are the quite of important aspects for a good school. Do you think that government needs to focus more on educating, adapt? Here with the verb, needs governments. No, they don't agree. Out. Um, well, from my understanding, governments actually they are the powerful authorities we're going to know that they are powerful authorities which have the power to collect well, I don't know what happened here I, th I think this is supposed to be an infinitive to collect there's no s to collect tax from taxpayer uh, then it is, will be their possible um, responsibility Okay, so now he's just talking about what governments do. He's not really answering the question. Governments collect tax. Governments improve the living standards of their citizens. Okay, now he's getting closer to the to the point of his answer, I suppose. But the part about the tax, what was that about? Ability to improve the living standards of their citizens by education, uh, educating adults 
and help them to gain more capability to improve their working performance would also lead to the promotion in their job or even a salary increase. Uh, uh, would and then S. So after a modal, we use the base verb. Would also lead to a promotion, possible promotion in their job, and even in Sally increase. Here, increase is a noun. It's not a verb, so there's no ed there. Leads to the promotion in their job, or even the salary increased, which is quite of um, a beneficial for both sides. Which is quite beneficial. This is not a noun. We don't need an article there. Which is quite beneficial for both sides of the uh, two parties, right? Well, the two sides are the parties. So you don't say for both two sides of the parties. You just say for both sides or both parties, but not together. Um, governments could get all, more tax, and also uh, the individuals they could get a higher. Why do we need two subjects here? The individuals could get. Let's drop the pronoun they. Living quality. They could get a higher living quality. Why not say they could enjoy a higher standard of living? They could enjoy a higher standard of living. And also governments, they. And here he does the same thing. We have a noun as a subject and then we have a pronoun as a subject why do we need two subjects are the organizations which could collect uh, could make laws right to make the society much more stable and for most of the citizens who received higher education he's going to the past tense now this should just be present tense so most citizens who receive a higher education Again, double subject here, citizens, and then we have they again, support the government. They would support the governments or the society much more than those lower educated ones. Those, one, uh, much more than those lower educated ones, those lower educated ones. Um, which also the needs for well, those who've received a lower education or those who are actually no that sounds kind of rude why don't say those who are less well educated that sounds more polite those who are less well educated for governments to um, just remain the regime the word is regime regime but Wow, this answer is really, really, really long. <laughs> Remember, the examiner has a limited time that they can allow you to talk in part three. I think in a real test, he would have been cut off by now. Or they controlled on the, the country. Control well, so over the country. The Control over the country. The win-win situations, I guess. Uh, most of all, adults, they are the mainstream, the mainstream working force I don't know what the mainstream working force means so adults comprise most of the workforce that's maybe what he, what he wants to say adults comprise most of the workforce or the um, you could say the main guardians on it's guardians I think he wanted to say guardians not guidance guardians in the in a family right so by educating them it would much more um, it would be much more dramatically will be and then here's another verb ensure will be so I expect to see an adjective but I don't I see a verb <laughs> what's happening now ensure the health development of the <laughs> whole society It'll dramatically ensure. Dramatically and ensure don't go together. It'll definitely ensure the healthy development. Here, development should be a verb, right? Okay, so it will definitely ensure the healthy development of the whole society. The health development of the whole society. Uh, well, so I deeply agree that. I deeply agree. 
we can deeply agree. I definitely agree. But the question, oh, never mind. Government should um, spend more money on on, be, on more resource, right? Spend more resource on adult education. Okay, I want to talk about the resource in just a second. But did the question actually ask you? Do you agree? I don't even remember. Do you think? Okay. The question is just do you think? So yes or no. The question wasn't do you agree? Um but anyway, let's see here. Spend more money. Spend and money, those go to well go those go well together. <laughs> but spend and resources don't go well together. But I just want to hear the whole sentence again. What did he say here? On on be on more resource, right? Spend more resource on adult. So allocate, allocate more resources to adult education. Allocate more resources to adult education. Adult education. Do you think there will be no teachers to teach students in the future? Well, about the future, I'm not really sure. This is um, a very tricky question. Well, what I want to say is that I have read quite a few books um, f during the past couple of months about AI. Art oh, that's a great phrase. Artificial intelligence. That's something you should know for the test. Artificial intelligence that mainly focus on what the future is going to be like. And some of the books say that perhaps in 30 or 40 years, a big proportion of all of, uh, of teachers will be replaced by robots. Especially teachers that um, probably teach English. Teachers that probably teach English. I think it means probably teachers that teach English. And also, why is it especially probably? <laughs> These two words have opposite meaning. But okay. Or teach languages, not Chinese, not your mother language, because your um, a person's mother tongue is not only the language itself, but also culture, and um, y you know, very. Oh, here we can see he doesn't know what to say. <laughs> That's why he comes up with the word stuff. Stuff, not a great word to use in the test because it's so vague. Very uh, subtle stuff that can't be taught by robots, at least in the short term. However, when, when, when students are learning a foreign language, a second language, for example, then I suppose probably robots will be able to replace teachers in this field. All right, look at this here, language, and then he uses field with that. These two words go together so well. Because they will be smart, smart enough to teach vocabulary and grammar and practice with the students. So, um, however, some other Okay, so he wants to talk about the other side, but unfortunately he introduces it with so, but that's okay. He realizes his mistake, and then he uses however to introduce the other side. Um, however, some other books say otherwise. They say that perhaps these teachers won't be able to tell uh, which student is having difficulty with some certain concept or something. I, I'm really sorry. I All right. Concept is another great word to use. Uh, what's not so great is the apologizing. You don't need to apologize for not knowing something. You're not tested on your knowledge, you're just tested on your language. I'm really sorry, I can't be sure, and I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I do like the end. We'll have to wait and see. That's definitely true, right? What's the difference between young and older teachers? <laughs> well, for me, there are quite a few differences between old and young. There are quite a few differences between old and young teachers. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. The first one. So he uses adverbs to tell us the first difference. That's a basic but very effective way of sequencing when you talk. Young teachers. Firstly, young teachers. Oh, but it's firstly, not firstly, firstly. Teachers are more likely to use modern technology in a classroom, such as video clips to download it from the internet. Video clips to download it from the internet. I don't know if I misheard her. Video clips to download it from the internet. 
video clips down maybe it's just video clips downloaded from the internet possibly PowerPoint slides PowerPoint slides all right Exactra. okay this word is etc 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 well older teachers tend to use traditional way of teaching use traditional ways of teaching like whiteboard recordings and now wait a second whiteboard recordings is that traditional you mean like an electronic whiteboard that's kind of high-tech isn't it so on. Uh, secondly it is easier for young teachers to build a closer relationship with their students because they share some similar interests like sports movies computer games and fashions and when she lists all these things her voice is so mechanical and flat but anyway uh, let's look at the good part okay so here another sequencer secondly uh, but why do you think younger teachers and students are necessarily gonna have similar interests hmm. so there's no there's no might here she doesn't say it might be easier because they may share the same interests she just says they share the same interests I don't know if that's always going to be true fashion oh also fashion not countable and fashion computer games and fashions and so on <laughs> but older teachers may have a generation gap with the students you can have a generation gap so there might be a generation gap between the older teachers and their students but people cannot have a gap there can only be a gap the verb for a generation gap is be it's not have what school subject do you think will be the most useful in adult life I think literature because literature can make people full of wisdom yeah I'm not sure that anything can make you full of wisdom <laughs> literature can teach you wisdom but it can make you full of wisdom um, and the better communi communicate with Okay, so she combined, I guess, community and communicate, and it came out as communicate. Mm. Others. At the same time, by learning how to use the language well, you can write various kinds of words, various, various articles, make better speeches, and ultimately influences others okay so we saw a bit of a pause here before ultimately <clears throat> again showing this is a difficult word for her um, but this if you go back let's go back to the first word uh, okay so here modal you can so the verb is write you can write you can make and then you can influence so there's no s here because all of these verbs were preceded by a modal so no s for any of them it influences others what subjects do you think might be needed in the future which which has not <laughs> yet appeared this is one hell of a question <laughs> this is a really hard question but let's start with the pronunciation of appeared. It's appeared, not a period. Computer applications. Okay. I mean, I can't argue with her answer because this is a really hard question. But isn't this already being taught right now? Now it's the network society. Okay, I've never heard anybody refer to our society as a network society, but hey, it's not wrong. I think the ability to master the computer is very important. We use computers to write practical writing. We use computers to write practical writing. Okay, I don't know what that means really. Your pictures and even edit nope it's edit edit and 
program. These are essential life skills. Essential, essential, essential. But they are not taught in our courses. Okay. Well, maybe where she lives, it's true. Who knows? What do you think is the best age for children to start school? Why? I, I love the fact that the why is here in the beginning. <laughs> they only ask you why if your answers are very short. <laughs> they don't ask you the question and then immediately say why even before you've said anything. I think it's six. Children、uh, directly directly go to primary school at the age of six. I don't understand the directly. Children directly go to primary school. Is there a difference between going to primary school and directly going to primary school? Age of six. Children aged three to five have strong learning ability. Abilities are countable. So children aged between three and five have a strong learning ability. At this age. Parents should let their children master as many languages as possible. Whoa! Okay, so she has a lot of trouble even just producing these words, saying these words. So, I defy art. This I don't know. I defy art. That's what I hear. I don't know if that's what she wanted to say. That's what it sounds like. Let them enjoy good preschool education. It's preschool. Let them enjoy again. Education here is countable. So let them enjoy a good preschool education. Now I don't really know what this means. So if I knew what she was saying here, maybe I would understand this better. And form basic personality. Yeah, the meaning towards the end is kind of lost to me. Maybe because I don't know what she says here, but the, the last idea just went over my head. One can kids learn when they're playing with other kids of the same age? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that that's a very interesting question. I、um, personally, I have never thought about it before, but maybe I should. Personally, I've never thought about it. Okay, maybe dropped it personally, but that's fine. Because I'm definitely gonna have a kid、uh, sooner or later. I'm pretty young now. Oh boy. Okay, here he goes off topic already. But some of my coworkers have already had their babies, and but the thing is, in China, we we used to have the one. Do you have limited time in part three? You can you cannot spend this much time building up a background to your answer. Child policy for so many years. So a lot of families only have one kid, and、um, it doesn't really happen very often when their kid plays with other kids of the same age. So I'm sorry, I've been talking just you know, it's been a lot of nonsense.、I'm、yep, it has. But don't apologize. So sorry. So basically, when kids play together with other kids of the same age, I, I don't know. I don't suppose they really learn a lot of things. They just train their ability to kind of quote unquote. So I do love the quote unquote. <laughs> socialize. I mean. Oh, hang on a second. He didn't say socialize, did he? He said, he just said socialize. Change that. <clears throat> yeah, it's socialize, but I do love the quote unquote. <laughs> I say quote unquote mainly because kids don't really know what socializing is.、Um, adults socialize. We try to、um, network with other people. To I'm here. He uses network as a verb. It's great. Get benefit for the sake of our own careers. And listen to the intonation there. Benefits for the sake of our own careers. And. And 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 jobs and stuff like that. The kids don't know that. <laughs> But then he kind of ran out of vocabulary there, and he went for stuff. <laughs> But kids don't know that. <clears throat> hey, at least now his argument is starting to make sense, right? That, but kids don't know that. However, through、um, interacting with other children, they learn how to talk. How to be together, and I believe this is quite crucial in the development of any kid.
Hmm. How should schools teach students to live healthily? Whoa, it's kind of a hard question too. Um, <laughs> that's an interesting question. Um, honestly, I've never thought about it before. All right, <laughs> but don't start every answer by saying, "Oh, I've never thought about that before." Because you've probably never thought about many of the questions, and it's really hard to think of an answer. Well, I remember when I was in primary school, we had a class called health. Okay, so it's like a yellow flag here <laughs> when he starts talking about himself. It's not quite a red flag yet, but it's yellow. Honestly, I'm not very sure whether this kind of class exists in. Okay, so now he brings it around. He expands this idea out into the general. He talks about other primary schools in China. Every other primary school in China, and I don't know about other countries, but it definitely sounds like a good idea. I mean, if every school, primary school or middle school, has a class called health, and teachers try to instill. The Oh, look at this verb here! Instill the importance. Instead of saying teach, he says instill. That's great. Instill the importance. Very good. The importance of doing physical exercise and eating a healthy diet every single day into student. I've noticed that he likes to say every single day. <laughs> Then those students, it's more likely for them to try to live a healthy lifestyle. And look, he doesn't overgeneralize. He says it's more likely for them. He doesn't say they will lead a healthy lifestyle. Style, right? If they believe that it's essential to、um, adopt this kind of lifestyle. Oh, look at this! He uses the word "adopt" and "lifestyle" together to adopt this kind of lifestyle. And here, more likely, so not overgeneralizing. Well, it's more likely for them to go out and abound, play basketball and soccer or badminton. They will. It's badminton, not badminton, but hey, it's okay. <laughs> it's a tiny error. Or go jogging every day. They will try to eat a healthy, balanced diet. All right, so we've got lots of examples: sport, jogging. I don't know if we need these many <laughs> kinds of sports. Maybe just say they will try to. They will. They're more likely to play sport or get involved in sport and eat a healthy, balanced diet. Um, you know, teachers can tell students, hey, don't eat too much red meat. It's harmful to your health. Oh, is that true?、Hmm. Then I suppose those students will probably listen to their teacher. Will probably, again, very good use of the modal. And tell their parents to cook healthier food. So honestly, I really can't think of anything else. But having a class called health definitely sounds pretty good to me. Who do you think plays a more important role in a child's development, teachers or parents? Um, honestly, that's a very difficult question. It's definitely something that a lot of people talk about today. Is that true?、Mm. And frankly speaking, I I really want to say that.、Mm, frankly speaking, all right. Is this going to be controversial? Do you really need to use the phrase "frankly speaking"? Teachers and parents play an. No, it's not. He's saying it's an equal role. It's a very mild, very bland position. You don't use "frankly speaking" for this. this no, it's not the correct.、Um, it's not the correct situation to use "frankly speaking." "Frankly speaking" is when you when you want to say something that might shock or surprise the listener, and this is not shocking or surprising. Equally important role in the development of a child.、Um, well, hang on. I'm sorry.、Um, now that I think about it. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if this is scripted. If it is scripted, good job to this guy. Kudos to him because he does make it sound natural. Hey, if you're talking and you decide,、hmm, actually no, I thought of something else, and that goes against what you said before, well, go ahead, say that you've changed your mind. Actually, a child spends a big part of their day at school, right? At least in China, children go to school and stay there for six or even seven hours, which is a, a long time. Then they go home and spend several hours with their parents. So, no, wait, hang on, I'm so sorry. Okay, now it's getting a bit much. <laughs>
I don't think you should change course this often in one answer. Got, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Actually, they go to school and spend their time with several teachers because they have many subjects. So, God, I'm so sorry. I'm All right. Maybe this is not really necessary. I'm making it very complicated for myself. So, I'm I'm sticking to what I said at the very beginning. Teachers and parents are equally important. Yeah, this is not his strongest answer. I mean, this guy is such a good speaker. It's a pity that this answer didn't go in a very logical way. He kind of zigzagged from one position to another. Not the best approach. Do people need to constantly learn new things? Yeah, without a doubt. I believe it's vitally important for. Oh, these two words go together very well. Vitally important. For everybody to always learn new things to acquire new knowledge. And look here at acquire and knowledge. They go together well too. Learn new things to acquire new knowledge because our world, I mean, our society has been developing extremely fast. I mean, just super rapid. This is really necessary. We've got extremely fast, then we have super rapidly. Rapidly. Especially over the last 100 or 200 years, right? Things change all the time. For instance, now we are in the internet age, right? We have computers, we have smartphones, we have so many new things that are popping up every single day. <laughs> Here's every single day again. I do like the popping up. Um, but now here... Like we have um, AI. Or if you say AI and you say artificial intelligence and you say VR and you say virtual reality, is that necessary? Just say AI VR. The examiner knows what you're talking about. Artificial intelligence, uh, VR, virtual reality. If we don't try to learn these things, if we don't try to catch up with what the society is um, just becoming, I just believe we will gradually lag behind. And we will gradually lag behind. Um, yeah, I guess it's not wrong to say lag and behind, but I mean to lag means to be behind. So you could just say we will gradually start to lag. If you say behind, then usually we would say behind who? So we will gradually start to lag behind others. We will just be, um, let's, let's admit it, we will be losers if we don't learn new things every day. All right.